Hey guys, Jake here, coming at you with another math lesson today. Here's the problem I'm going to be showing you how to do today. Um, it's going to be a pretty similar process to any kind of tangent line problem. Essentially, all we're going to be doing here is finding the equation of the tangent line to the function y equals x cubed plus 4x minus 6 at the point 2, 10. So when you're looking at a problem like this, really you want to think about kind of two things to start. And both of them basically relate to what a tangent line actually is. So in general, a tangent line or a line that's tangent to a function at a specific point is just a line that we know is going to have the same slope as that function at that point. And also it has to go through that point that lies on that function. So we're basically going to have to kind of consider each of those things separately. Um, basically, the first thing you want to do is first think about the slope piece. So in general, we are trying to come up with a tangent line, which means we're going to be coming up with a linear function, which we, we're going to have to kind of match up to this function in this point. So since we know we're coming up with an equation of a line, the general equation of a line, there's kind of a couple different forms it could be in. Um, in this case, since we are given a, a specific point that we know our function has to go through, it's probably going to be easiest to use the, the point slope form of a linear function, which would be y equals m times x minus x0 plus y0. And this basically is an equation of a line that goes through the point x0, y0, and has slope of m. And then x and y, x is our independent variable, y is our uh, dependent variable. So basically, we already know some information about this point. Like I said, we have to make sure that it matches the slope and that it intersects with the given point. So we can actually already plug in you know, this point right here for our x0 and y0. We know that our tangent line has to go through this x value, this point, and it has to go through this y value. So we can actually plug those in for those. You know, that's basically given. The only other piece we need to then figure out is to make sure that the slope lines up. So to do that, what you want to think about is how do you find the slope of a specific function, of this function here, at a specific point? Well, usually when you're trying to find the slope, you should be thinking of the derivative because a derivative just represents the slope of a function. So to find the slope of this function at this specific point, all we need to do is take its derivative and then you know, specify which point we're looking at. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're just going to take the derivative of this function, which we can do just using power rule. So bring the 3 down in front, lower the power by 1, the derivative of 4x is just going to be 4, the x will drop off, and then the derivative of a constant is 0, so that's not going to do anything. So this is our derivative of our function. This derivative tells us the slope of our function for any given x value. So if we want to look at the slope at the point 2, 10, that tells us we're looking at the slope when x is 2. So to find the slope of this tangent line, all we have to do is plug in 2 for x, so y prime of 2 would be 3 times 2 squared plus 4. And this is going to give us our slope. So 2 squared is 4 times 3 is 12 plus 4, which is 16. So the slope of our tangent line that at the point 2, 10 is going to have a slope of 16. So then we can replace our m, which in a linear function just represents the slope, with 16. And then we can have x minus our x-coordinate of the point that we know lies on this line plus the y-coordinate of the point that we know lies on this line. And then we can just kind of simplify this. So distribute our 16 and then add our like terms. So 16 times x, 16 times 2 is minus 32, which would be... 16x minus 22. So that's the equation of our tangent line, which has the same slope as this function at this point and also goes through that point.